Hey everybody, it's Brenda with Foxy's Creations. And today we are going to paint this book because I'm going to turn it into a glue book. It's already got pages missing out of it and that kind of thing. And one of my New Year's resolutions is to work on getting rid of magazine images I've cut out of books or magazines. So this is going to become a glue book just to play in, have fun in. But I want to cover it. So I'm going to cover it in... I'm hoping it what would look like a galaxy kind of thing because I want to play with some polymer clay either tomorrow or Thursday that we can embellish the book with on Friday. And I will record whenever I play with the polymer because I want to make some polymer clay flowers, the embellishments for the book, and some other polymer clay things while I have it out playing with it and that kind of thing. But first, we got to paint the book. So I've already sprayed it with a little bit of water to get it damp so my paint will move. I don't know if this is going to work. If it doesn't, it's just paint, right? I can just paint over it. That kind of thing. And I'm not doing a base coat or anything first. I'm just going to kind of put some paint on here. And I'm using metallics and black. So, some purple. And this is a color shift. No, it's actually metallic. Okay. I want gold. Uh-oh. Well, we'll just move that those golds around first. And I want some metallic blue, which I think I may need to add a little bit of water to. So we're going to do that and shake it real good. And I've got sponge if I need it. Ooh, sponge might be a good idea. So I just got to remember this is going to kind of be a little bit more liquidy. That's the great thing about acrylic paints is they're water-based and you can add water. To keep them going. Or when they're down to the end. So we're just going to put some of this. Okay. I have my wider paintbrush. I may get the really wide one. Let's get this one. It's nice and soft. And I want to move this gold to different locations. And this too. And we're just going to start. And I don't want to make mud. The object is not to make mud. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Except we got a paint booger. Got to get rid of the paint booger. Okay. And you don't see anything really but the black with some streaks in it, which is not what I was going for. So, let's do this. I'm going to get a wet paper towel. And I'm just going to blot some of this off. It's got a lot of paint on here. Okay, maybe we'll use a dry paper towel. Yeah. Okay, plan number two. That did not work out how I wanted. I'm going to cut some of my sponge off. And this is regular kitchen sponge. I'm going to wet it. A little bit. 
Oh, and I figured out how to make the Dollar Tree bottles work, you guys. I'll show you. Okay, I got my sponge cut. I'm going to cut that in half. Okay, sponge is cut. Now I am going to spray it and let it sit in water for a minute. While I show you how to make these bottles spray, it's not that hard, really. You just have to do a little modification. So, this is a Dollar Tree me metallic bottle. For whatever reason, they come with a little thing at the end. Whoops. Down here, this, I guess, a filter kind of thing. Just pull that off and throw that away. That's what keeps the water from coming up the tube or whatever's in the bottle. So we want to just get rid of that altogether. You know, that looks kind of cool like it is, but that's not how we're going to leave it. And I did that to this blue one, and now it sprays just fine. Okay, so now that I have my sponge dampened, I'm going to put some color back on here. Not as much. I might not add any more black. Probably not. I'm just going to work with what black is on here. And definitely not so much gold. And some purple. Take my sponge that's damp. Well, let me bring out any excess water onto the other part. And I'm just going to start dibble dabbling. And the key here is when you're pouncing to pounce and turn. So that your sponge is not in the same direction every time that it hits the book or paper or whatever you are sponging. That is very cool. I kind of like that, just like it is. I may want to get more of like a bluish black. So I'm going to put some blue with a little tiny, tiny, tiny drop of black. And just kind of mix that on my sponge and then just kind of go in here and sponge it on. Hopefully, I put my brush in the water. I did. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to move everything out of my way. Because I need to get the other side of the cover. So, I'm going to just lift this up. And turn it around. And put this paper here. Okay. I do need to spray this with water. Because that's how I started out the other side. I just dampened it with water. I 
think we're going to do a really quick, like, basic brushing of black on here. And then we're going to put the other colors on it. So, about like that. Maybe go in and get some blue in here. Just these two. I'm trying to get my brush. And then I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'll come back and play with polymer clay at some point. Uh-oh. I'll re-sponge. I got a streak right there. I'm just going to re-sponge it. Okay, same thing that we did. I'm just going to put some paper towel. And pull up the excess paint. Okay, and I'll be right back, guys. I got to go get Miss Muffet. like 3 30 in the morning and i thought she would stay on the bed oh no i'm not on the bed i couldn't sleep so here we are 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning doing art and i'm going to sponge this real quick A little different than I did the other side. That doesn't matter. It'll be okay. So I think I'm going to go back in over this with black and add the other colors. Okay, now we want to add some purple and some gold. And if y'all notice, I'm not cleaning off the sponge at all. Same sponge, all colors. And maybe just a touch more blue because, yeah, we're just, it's all about layering. Okay, now I can just tap and tap and tap. Go back in over where all that gold is.
Uh oh. My book stuck together. Oh, I need to get that off of there anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might stand my book up. I'm just trying to get the, the spine real quick. But I'm going to end up having to stand up my book to dry. I'll just redeal with that in a minute. Let's get this painted. My spine, because this is a paper book, this part stuck with that part since I've got it flat. The cover is paper. Let's just get this all painted out. Then we'll fix it. We'll fix it. So, y'all, I had a migraine most of the day yesterday. I posted it in my Facebook group that we had the migraine. Stayed in the bed in the dark for the longest part of the day. Okay, now the thing is, let's compare. They look the same. They look very, you know, much like their uniform. This one doesn't have as much blue. So we'll just add some blue that we can move around a little bit. some off trying us to compare the two we need a little bit more purple I think I'm gonna just put it on my sponge and then work it in with that yeah just adding some purple here and there Okay, let's see what we got. That looks, well, no it does not. Knock that purple back a little bit, yeah. That looks really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just stand this up on my desk to dry because I don't want these to stick and this already has a fix it spot. So see if I can get that turned around. Yeah. And I'm just going to use what paint I have to paint the spine. I think this page work or this book works out to be like 64 pages total fronts and backs and everything so that's it for this video this has to dry i'm then going to seal it with um my acrylic sealer of uh, the men wax polycrylic i'm going to seal it with that two coats and then i'm going to play with polymer clay and i'm going to make so I'll, I'll film the the polymer clay stuff so y'all can see me making the molds and whatnot or molding the clay and getting it ready to bake and then i'll come back and show you it baked and what we're going to do i don't know what all i'm going to put in this journal but i know what i want my cover to look like so that's what i'm going to do and that's the plan so this is a really quick video it didn't take that long at all like less than 20 minutes and so we're just gonna have to let this book dry I don't want to heat gun it because metallic paint can bubble. I don't want to create bubbles. I may put some, I don't know, some sparkly or glittery or so. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I like this just fine. It came out kind of how I wanted it to. Um, there's more stuff we can do to it if we need to after this dries and maybe put another coat. If I do, I'll come back and film it. Anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. Um, hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Please, um, please like and subscribe the video. You guys, when you like the videos, here's what happens. If you just watch it and you don't give a thumbs up, that's fine. 
but YouTube no will not push the video out to other people. If you like, if you give the video a thumbs up and you comment or just give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't matter. But if you give it a thumbs up, what happens is YouTube goes, oh, people like this video. We should get other people to watch it. And they promote the videos. So please give a thumbs up on the video if you watch it. Um, in the comments below, what kind of polymer clay things would you like to see me make? I have flower things I can do. I have stars, flowers, hearts. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, I have a lot of cutters, so I can cut out just about anything. So leave some information below in the video when you watch it. Let me know what kind of polymer clay things you'd like to see. I also have molds of like, I can make little fairies. I can make faces. Just a bunch of different things. So let me know. And if I don't have the mold, I'll tell you. Um, but let me know what kind of things would you like to see. And then I can work on that. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Hugs and blessings. Bye.